Chuck Case had loved music, but nothing was better than his love for surfing as a child. In 1964, he became the youngest child to ever be a professional surfer. At two years old, he was rocking the surfing circuit until one day, everything changed. Goofing off, having a good time together. And uh, man, that's when it got kind of weird. We thought we saw a bunch of dolphins. And there's one spot in particular I remember, uh, it was yesterday. I was paddling over this wave and what we thought were dolphins actually turned out to be a really large shark. Man, I could go through with that. I could paddle around and, and if I got hit, not a big deal. I could still paddle with fake limbs. I couldn't do that to Bessie. My board, she's everything to me. I couldn't let myself let her get hurt. And at that moment, Chuck walked away from everything he knew in professional surfing and gave it all up for a love affair with his beloved Bessie. This went on for four years, no friends intervening, until one day things got, well, a little out of hand. What are you doing? Get out of here! Get go! Get get out of here! Chuck Kaysen was go, fined and convicted, like owing sixty-four thousand dollars with no money and no oh. job. He did the only thing that he knew how to infiltrate a children's program and moonlight as a doodlebug, while also being the campus pastor of Forefront Chesapeake, as he serves and pays his debt to society and continues on with life. 